Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming once again. This is TJK Shares. We bring you one-on-ones with TJK. We bring you topics. We share free information to learn, relearn, and unlearn a few things. It's been a while since I did a topic, but our followers and people who have been commenting on our channel have overwhelmingly given me three topics. So today we will tackle one of those topics. People want to hear more about these topics. The first one we are going to talk about today is philanthropy. Philanthropy, ladies and gentlemen, is a topic for today. Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing, resharing. These videos are free to you. Information is free to you. Our volunteers and experts around the world who have come here and shared the information are giving you a free, 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 free access to their expertise. We appreciate you, everybody who's been here. Continue to follow, continue to share. Philanthropy. Some people are called philanthropists. There's an act of philanthropy. So today, let's talk about philanthropy and we will start by defining what it is. Philanthropy is the practice of giving money, time, and resources to a charitable cause with the goal of promoting the welfare of others and improving society. Philanthropy involves donating to various different activities, different organizations, volunteering at your church is philanthropy, Advocating for social change is philanthropy, CBOs and NGOs and anything you do in your community that you are giving without expecting a pay. We can consider that philanthropy. Now this term mostly used in Western countries, we people on the African continent and especially since I'm recording this from Uganda, many of us in Uganda think that philanthropy is for the rich, for the retired, for the well-to-do, that God has to endow you with so many resources before you can say you are a philanthropist or before you can do acts of philanthropy. No, sir, no, ma'am. Philanthropy is for everybody. Giving time, volunteering resources, going next door and help somebody who needs your help, you are doing acts of philanthropy. Good friend of mine, Jack Asimwe, who started Civil Source, has been defining philanthropy for the local communities, grassroots philanthropy. Now, you know I started Nyaka, Nyaka Organization, Nyaka AIDS Orphans Project in Uganda, Nyaka Global in the United States, Nyaka Canada, Nyaka UK. These are acts of philanthropy. You don't have to be white. You don't have to be Bill Gates. You don't have to be Elon Musk. You don't have to be a former president to do philanthropy. You are in your own a philanthropist. And so when people call me philanthropist, it's not because I started in Yaka, it's because of the acts of kindness, the volunteering I do through my church, the volunteering I do, the resources I provide, and many of us already do that. It applies to you in your own circumstances. Don't let anybody else tell you you are not a philanthropist when you know you've done what we described above. Philanthropy can take <coughs> many forms, can take so many different forms and in different societies, you can see this apply. So we'll talk about maybe four or five points and I would like you to ask questions. I would like you to follow up, but I also like you to do research. As a Christian man, the Bible tells us, don't read one scripture and think you have got it all. Compare scripture to scripture, because when you take one piece and run with it, with all your own interpretation, you will continue to think that this is just one verse that is applicable to you. But when you compare the Old Testament and the New Testament and Isaiah and Matthew and Luke and Revelations, then you get to see the entire picture. So when I cover a topic, 
Don't just take it and run with it. Jackson said this, doctor said this, go and research. So look up the word philanthropy. The topic will have the right spelling and learn more on how it is applicable to you in your society and start cherishing and honoring and recognizing those philanthropists around you. Philanthropy, ladies and gentlemen, can take many forms. In addition to giving money, it can also involve donating goods or services. When you wake up and go to your church and clean the church in your community, when you wake up and go to your community center and read books to young people, when you drive your bike border borders and give a ride to that patient who needed a patient and don't charge them, you've already done an act of philanthropy. Skills, you can volunteer your skills. You can go and do accounting for the local shop in your community. You can go and help somebody translate their legal document they didn't know. You can read the letter from some, some grandmother whose child has wrote the letter in English or they don't know how to read. You have already done an activity. You can volunteer, advocate. The child is being abused in your community and you report. This is number one. Number two, Philanthropy is not just for the wealthy. I mentioned earlier Bill Gates, I mentioned Barack Obama, Oprah Winfrey, uh, the president of Uganda, Yoel Kaguta Museveni. Many of us think that just the wealth have to be philanthropists. While wealthy individuals and corporations may be more visible in their philanthropic efforts, people of all income levels can do and engage in philanthropy. Giving doesn't have to involve large sums of money. A dollar to the homeless is philanthropic. A shilling, a thousand shillings to the kid who needed a pencil to go to school is philanthropic. Corporations, Pepsi, Apple, Coca-Cola are big and they give, but the local shop that gives bananas to the child who was walking from school and their sugar levels are low, that's a philanthropic activity. In philanthropic efforts, people of all income levels can do engage in giving. It doesn't have to involve more people, can be one person, can be less money, and can be small donations. When I travel with the children, we always pack clothes gently use the clothes and bring them back. So that means Talia, Tessa, Nolan, Nicholas are already philanthropic in nature because they are giving something small to the communities we serve. Number three, philanthropy can have a big impact or small impact, but all the same, it remains philanthropy. By supporting causes that address pressing societal issues, Philanthropy can have a significant impact on communities. Nyaka impacts more than 150,000 people. 96,000 of those are all children. Then you have many women who are involved in our grandmother's program. Then you have people who drink clean water because we establish clean water systems in the districts where we work. Then you have people who hear every year through our awareness program and advocating for people who are being discriminated against or who are sexually assaulted. Actually, it's in the millions of people. If you ask Kanungu district, ask Rukonji district, ask Rwanda district, ask the president of Uganda, they will tell you over 23 years, Nyaka has had a huge impact on the people in Uganda. Then when you combine all the speeches I give around the world, and now all the audience that gets to hear all this information shared uh, through our uh, YouTube, you will realize that there is a, such a huge impact. But I am Jackson, you are somebody. My impact doesn't have to be your impact. But also when you look at what we've done and then 
for the branches that have gone off through all our staff members, more than 126 staff members in Uganda, staff members in Canada, staff members in, in the United Kingdom, and all over the world, you will realize that the impact is big. And each of those impacts are like a mustard tree that is shedding more seeds that are growing into more philanthropic activities. Whether it's funding education, whether it is healthcare services, whether it is our conservation, whether it is environmental issues, philanthropy can bring positive change. Plant a tree, watch it grow. Philanthropy is the same way. You plant a seed, it grows slow, but it blossoms. But during that process, it needs water, it needs sunshine, it needs to be cultivated. So while you are doing philanthropy, continue to engage, continue to bring water, continue to bring sunshine, continue to weed, so you can continue to have as much impact as you can. Ladies and gentlemen, number four, philanthropy is a personal choice. Personal. Everyone has their own reasons for giving, whether it is a desire to help others, whether it is a sense of societal responsibilities or a personal connection to a cause. There is no right or wrong way, there's no right or wrong way to engage in philanthropy. And individuals should choose causes that align with their values and interests. I always speak, or whenever I speak, or people who have read my books, I always say my causes are rooted in children and grandmothers, women. Some kid, some youth, some adult have a cause somewhere that advocates for cats and dogs. Some person has a cause that is completely environmental. If you go back in our episodes, Gladys, Environmental Conservation, She's a veterinary doctor who dedicated herself to treating gorillas. That's her cause. It fits with her interests and values. We've interviewed James, who is focused on water. This is the cause he zeroes in. We've interviewed Jack Asimwe, who is doing so much work within developing philanthropic values and giving in the context of local giving. We've interviewed Ken Ansara, who has started International Donors Giving, network of engaged international donors. We've introduced you to Tori Dito, whose Dito partners work with philanthropic causes all over the world. We took you to India, Saniha, who came up with a cup that women can use in their periods. We've taken you to Kabale with Rus. Ruth Bahika at Villa, whose cause is working with girls, vulnerable girls. We've introduced so many people. So philanthropy, once again, is personal. You who is listening have your own personal interests and personal values. And I encourage you to dig deep and start recognizing that those activities you are doing are philanthropic, need to be recognized, and celebrated. So when you think of philanthropy next time, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that philanthropy plays a crucial role in addressing societal and environmental challenges and improving the welfare and well-being of individuals, of communities all around the world. Everyone has an ability to make a difference through philanthropy no matter the age, the background, the race. And many, many, many of us in Uganda have seen so many churches built through philanthropic activities. The Roman Catholic Church has done a tremendous job building cathedrals with schools. I am a product of Catholic education systems. I was born and raised, and I'm still a Seventh-day Adventist man, but 
when I was growing up, there was no Seventh-day Adventist school around me. So I attended Catholic schools. I caused philanthropic activities all the way from Italy to the village in Yaka. Anglican Church, Church of England, schools, cathedrals, hospitals. Adventists all over the world, the biggest healthy Adventist hospital, Romarinda in the United States. Ishaka, my friend Lydia, who heads Ishaka Hospital. And in fact, Lydia, you need to come to come here and be a guest and speak about the work. Healthcare, philanthropic, churches, philanthropic, schools, philanthropic, environment, philanthropic, youth services, philanthropic. You have men and women who get together and form service clubs, philanthropic service clubs, a military. My friend Robert Munanula is a, a, a lion. And you have the one assets. You have all these activities all around the world of people getting together to help others, putting together resources to make an impact. So your topic today is most to encourage you to not think that philanthropy is for somebody else paid and created to do that. It's for you, it's for you, it's for you, and it's for me. Go, my philanthropic people, go change the world. One child, one activity, one society, one community, one country at a time. If we work together, we will continue to make an impact just like you see all churches, all schools, all hospitals which have been built because of people put their philanthropic interest in developing them, you can do the same. Thank you, God bless you, continue to be champions. Let's continue to learn together and change this world for one community at a time.